All right, so I've been buying some ladies belts. I'm going to turn these into guitar straps. Okay, so obviously these are thicker than men's belts, and just for comparison, here is a cheap guitar strap. So you can see a bit thinner. And these that's leather, so that's quite nice. So I've got a cheap old red one here, I'll get that off. This one uh, looks pretty good because I can just put that over the strap nut there, nice. So I've removed these. Uh, these aren't quite long enough, so they're attached to those together. This one, let's get rid of that. And this one, I think it marks Spencer's, which is a posh brand in the UK. Posh, well, it's, um, it's not high end, but it's quite good quality clothing. So, this uh, looks like it'd be quite good. Put the strap up on that. I'm just got to work out how to get rid of this. Uh, I might have to undo the stitching to get that off. Right, so I've laid these out. So at the top here is a cheap guitar strap, and this is set for the length that I use. So you can see that with these belts, there's only really one, so it's second from the third from the top, that is too short. And these, if I get these buckles off, one option would be a hacksaw, which sounds like a lot of hassle. Although, if I did that, I'd still be able to keep the double layer on the back. This one, or work out how to adjust that to get it on the strap. This one's quite nice, it's woven leather, so very comfortable. We'll get nice and sweaty for some gigs. Alright, so I've got to detach these buckles. Right, those are off, and I've got this collection of buckles. I'm not sure if I could use them for anything else. Maybe stick them on eBay. Right, so with these ones don't have any obvious holes to put the strap lock. So with these, that's a bit off-center, possibility. This has already got some holes marked in. And generally when I'm playing, uh, I don't take the straps on and off, so these could be fixed in permanently. It's not, I'm doing this because I'm super cheap, but I've got uh, some guitars that are going to be renovated recently, and I'm going to be buying some more to renovate, so I need a lot more straps. This one is quite interesting. What I could do there is put the screw on, and then just permanently attach it to the guitar like that. This red one, and then I've got to work out how to do it on the ends. This one is great, uh, the belt buckle is designed to poke through here, so that can be used on the front. And then on the back, I'm going to have to work out something on this one. That is not very stable, could be used in emergencies, but ideally you want to double that up. These, um, they're riveted together, so I can maybe connect two of these together and work something out. Nothing obvious on this one. So this end I think will be generally the front, it's going to look a bit messy with that on the back. So this one, that can be the front, and I can snip that, make it look a bit more tidy. This one again, and that will ensure that there is this part over the shoulder, although there's not much length to go on with that one. And with this, again, attach that through the back, it's nice and thick that, so just going to make a good hole and reinforce that. Alright, so these only cost me like £1.50 each, about $2, so what I've tried with these ones, made a simple cross, and then just push this through, so that's how it will sit on the guitar, and the weight will be pulling this way up, so it's got this little stud to bear the weight, and it looks pretty snug, so that should be fine when it's attached to the guitar. Alright, so it actually works, so this is my main guitar, Jim. Forced it on over there, and then at the back, that is, yeah, looks pretty good.